Hi developers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about the builder pattern. So the builder pattern is a very common design pattern and it's widely used across uh, different applications and programming languages, all right? So today I want to discuss uh, with you what is the difference between using the builder pattern versus a normal constructor like this? Uh, what are the pros and cons and under what context will this be useful? All right, so let's get started. So I want you to imagine that today you are working for Subway and the way you order it is to first select the type of bread, all right? So for example, I select Italian BMT and Italian BMT will come with some preset uh, meat and vegetables and toppings. And then uh, what you do after telling the, uh, the service staff that you want an Italian BMT is to continue to tell them what are the toppings and the sauces or additional meat that you want to add into your sandwich, all right? So I want you to think about how are you going to build this? Let's assume that this is a, a model. How are you going to construct this, okay? So I want to show you two ways of doing that. So over here, we see let's sandwich one, okay? So this is a very simple example. This is the conventional initializer method, all right? So um, when we initialize this, we pass in four parameters. We pass in a main. Okay, so this main, as you can see, there's a dot in front. So this is an enum. And then we pass in uh, an array of uh, meats over here. Okay, this is not really an array. This is actually an option set. So if you're not familiar with what an option set is, uh, watch uh, the video that I just uh, uploaded previously. I'll leave a link somewhere at the top. All right, and then we have sauces as well. So this is uh, again an option set, toppings as well, an option set. Okay, so this is the typical initializer construction uh, method. And then now we have a sandwich two. This is using the sandwich builder. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this calls a bunch of uh, calls a bunch of functions, and th and they are all chained together. All right. So set main, okay, so we have Italian BMT, we add meat, we add these two meats over here, we add sauces, and then we add topping, and finally, to construct that, so let me just uh, uh, do a alternate uh, click on sandwich too, you notice that this is of type sandwich, okay, so send sandwich like that. All right, so finally, we have to call the build method to construct this, okay? So we wrap this inside a do catch a block because it can potentially throw an error. Okay, so I'm gonna show you to you uh, why that is so. Okay, but before that, let's look through the, um, the structure. So sandwich is a strut, and then over here, we have four properties. We have the main, which is an enum. Okay, so we have the meat over here. So this is an option set. Again, um, check out the, the video previously because an option set is really a good thing to know if you're a developer and you know, most developers don't really know how to use option set. And uh, in the previous video, I discussed some really good context where you should use that, all right? So we have meat. Notice that uh, the conventional way, you know, if you are to use an enum, you'll do something like let meat, and then we'll do something like, you know, meat, singular meat, if this is an enum, but you see over here in the option set, this is in plural form, right? Okay, so we have sauces and we have toppings. Okay, so I want to run through with you the sandwich builder. Okay, so over here, uh, let's go through part by part. I don't think I, I want to really type this in because that will take too long. Okay, so let's start with this first. Okay, so we're gonna uh, create the main. Okay, because the main can only be a singular item and therefore uh, uh, when it's uh, first uh, initialized, this is gonna be an optional. All right, so we have meats over here. This is an option set. We have sauces, we have toppings. And notice that they are all private var, all right? They are not let over here, okay? Because it has to uh, be mutable every time these functions are being called. All right, so you see over here, we have the first function called set main, all right? So we pass in the main, and this main could be one of these three things over here, chicken, bacon, Italian BMT, and Subway milk, all right? And then uh, what we do is that we just assign main to this. Okay, so the reason why we can do that chaining is because every time we call this function, we want to return an instance of sandwich builder. And that's the reason why we return self, okay? That's why we have the self over here. Otherwise, you won't be able to do this kind of chaining. All right, so let's come back. And then we have add sources. So very similar to, uh, to, to set main. So basically, uh, this will be an option set. So this is how we do it. So because this is an option set, this is actually a set, we have to use the word insert instead of append as you would in an array, all right? So similarly, add toppings, uh, similar fashion, we return the self again so that you can do the chaining, add meat over here, okay? So these three things are similar. All right, so finally, we have the last function, which is the build. So what do we do over here? So this returns to us the sandwich, which is the object that we want, all right? And notice that we have a throws over here, meaning to say that uh, this can return an error. And why is that? It's because in the event, if the user uh, or us, we do not set the main, then obviously it's not going to be a valid sandwich, right? 
So I'm going to uh, guard that, you know, main must exist. Otherwise, I will say, okay, uh, an error that main is missing. Okay, so after that, what we do is that we re reconstruct the sandwich, main, meats, sauces, and toppings, just like that. All right, and that's how you construct the uh, sandwich builder. So what are the pros and cons? Okay, so let me uh, show you another way to do this first. Okay, but before that, so let me just uh, come over here. Okay, so let's do, you can also do let sandwich, I made a mistake here. So builder, you can do builder dot set main. Okay, let's assume chicken bacon and then builder dot um, add toppings. All right, so if you don't want a chain, if you don't want to, you know, return self, let's assume you don't have this uh, return self over here, okay? Or actually, you can make this uh, discardable as well. This discardable result, okay? You can do it this way. Okay, so this is one way to do it as well. Okay, and then what you can do is that you can just do builder dot, um, uh, I don't know, add sources. And then you can finally do um, let sandwich equals to try builder dot build. All right, so I believe this is very possible as well. So as you can see, this is uh, let me just do command R, R to build this. I believe this should work fine as well. Build succeeded. Okay, so I want to show it to you what is the advantage of using a uh, a sandwich builder because you might be uh, you might be asking why are we you know is this all synthetic sugar? Why should we do it this way instead of just using the good old constructor? Isn't it more straightforward this way? So I want to show it to you what are the what is the advantage of using uh, the the builder. So for example, let's assume that you know when a user selects uh, one of the main. The main comes with a certain preset. So for example, chicken bacon comes with maybe, uh, let's assume chili and uh, cheddar cheese. So what happens is that if the user decides to add this topping, it will not be counted, all right? So uh, let, me, let, me, let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so inside the builder method itself, let's assume that, okay, they're gonna do a switch main over here and then chicken bacon, subway now, and what else do we have? Uh, we have the Italian BMT. Okay, so I'm just gonna break this because I just wanna just wanna work with one example. So let's assume you are working with the Italian BMT, and this comes preset with uh, let's assume um, some toppings. Okay, so I'm gonna do add toppings, pepper. All right. So let me do command B to build this. I believe it should build, build succeeded. Okay. So what it means is that in the event if the, we use the sandwich builder the user selects a Italian BMT, which comes with pepper already. And because we know that an option set is a set, so in the event, if uh, the user selects adding pepper as part of the topping, we will not double count it as you would inside an array. All right, so you can imagine that if the main comes with already a set of, uh, of items already, we are not going to duplicate that even you know, when these functions are being called. So you, uh, because this is a set, you know, you can uh, do things like basically all the set methods. All right. So let me, let me just show it to you like sources dot uh, union form union. Basically all this uh, set functions is uh, available uh, in the box, you know, inside the builder. If you know, you have business logic that, um, that requires that. All right. So this is one advantage that I see using the option set together with the builder. All right, guys, uh, I hope that uh, this uh, tutorial has been helpful. I hope you like it, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers and bye.